Hey guys, Joey here. We're working on a Dometic RV air conditioner. Um, the thermistor is something that we're going to test. It runs non-stop, never shuts off. So in this case, I don't have any ice water with me, so I'm just going to use the freezer. I put the thermistor inside here in the freezer, and then you want to have a range of 7,000 to 10,000 ohms. So I'm going to have somebody else hold. Maybe. This is going to be a little tricky. Somebody else is going to hold the thermo. All right, so we want to take and put the, the uh, fluke on ohms, which looks like a little upside down horseshoe. So you want to touch one side of the wire with the red and the other side with the black. And you should start to get a reading once it's touching. So we can see that it's clearly a good thermistor because when I was testing it outside the fridge, um, it was reading 9,000. Let me go ahead and see if I can touch it again. 23 and climbing because it's cold. The colder it is, the higher that number will start to get. Um, and when we pull it out of here, you'll see that it's actually going to um, start to go back down almost immediately. And this is how you can test your thermistor on your refrigerator and your air conditioner. So as you can see, the number is already dramatically dropped and it'll go down probably to somewhere around seven, depending on the temperature. Depending on the temperature inside the RV or outside the RV, wherever you're doing this, um, will depend on what that number is. Remember, the hotter it is, the lower that number is going to get. The colder it is, the higher that number is going to get. Now, if you put it in there and it doesn't do anything, most likely you need a new thermistor. In this case, the thermistor is good. We know that we need to replace the controller in the air conditioner because it's not allowing it to shut off. Um, that's for another video. We'll show you why I did that. But until next time, if you're looking to test your thermistor on your Dometic RV air conditioner, that's how you do it. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.